page six of the torque handout, we've got a beam with a pivot off the left, two weights hanging at an angle, providing a torque of at an angle of 90 degrees, so you don't use sine. You're asked to find the moment arm on the left, that's x. You know one of the moment arms is 4. The pivot to the 6 is 4. The pivot to the 10, we don't know. And we're told that, we're told that the rod is weightless. And then it goes down here, if the system is not rotating, which means the which means that the torque is zero. So the sum of the so the clockwise torque equals the counterclockwise torque. Which which one's the clockwise torque? Well, this is going to cause the system to rotate this way. That's clockwise. This is counterclockwise. So clockwise. That's six kg. The to make it a force, we multiply by g equals ten kg, and to multiply make it a whoops made a mistake 6 kg times uh to make it a weight we multiply by g multiply by the moment arm and we get a torque equals a 10 kg multiply by g to get make it a force uh times this moment arm now look at the g's they cancel out because on both sides so 24 equals 10 x and so yeah the moment or x is 2.4 if the string supporting the 6 kg is cut, what is the net torque? Well, that if the 6 kg is cut, the only torque is from that hanging mass. So it's 10 kg multiplied by 10 meters per second squared to make it a force. That's 10. And the moment arm we found is 2.4. The distance from the pivot to the force. The angle is 90. We don't need trig. So 100 times um, 2.4 is... 240. Number seven, this system's in equilibrium, so that means the sum of the torques equals zero. There's a clockwise torque and a counterclockwise torque. This is clockwise, counterclockwise. So these torques must be equal because the sum of the torques equals zero. So M1 times the moment arm, which is R1, M1 R1 equals M2 r what's this one over here yeah r2 two, you see this radius is two so this is two as well so there you go right there and when r1 is equals m2 r2 we have a force on it at 90 degrees with a moment arm of l um no sign needed so it's just the torque is f times l which one of these below have the same torque i'm going to go right down here the force is 2f now we have to use trig so sine 30 times the moment arm is l distance between the pivot and the where the force is applied sine 30 is a half a half times two is just one so this is also this torque is also f times l i'm going to skip nine because it actually has no answer and i think we're going to stop right here because we got some tough ones coming up.